Tonight I'm feeling the squeeze, so I'm going to build a vise. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of Thingifines, where we explore the unexplored universe of the Thingiverse. Uh, in this episode, we're going to take a look at this clamp. So this has kind of caught my attention, and I thought it would be something unique to print. So I've gone ahead, and what I've done is I've downloaded it already, and uh, I've also loaded it into Tinkercad here. So one of the interesting things about it is... Um, it's very small and needs to be scaled up. So I scaled this up at tenfold. To kind of give you an idea, I've got Cura open with it in it. And I'm going to show you this. So this, this guy here is the original. So if you just go to print this from the file, this is what it looks like. And this is what it is scaled up tenfold. Now, one of the things uh, I won't, would like to call your attention to is are, are the threads in this hole. Now, this is what I find interesting. And once we print it out, we'll talk about this a little bit more. Uh, so you can either scale it up, bring it into Tinkercad, or you can scale it up by bringing it um, into Cura, as I've done here. Either will work. Uh, I did want to bring it into Cura, uh, sorry, uh, Tinkercad, because I wanted to play around with it a little bit, because I am probably going to modify this, but that's going to be on a different channel. So anyways, um, we've got this loaded up. I've sent all the parts uh, via Cura to three different 3D printers, so it's going to be printed uh, partly. We're going to print this, this base piece here on the tarantula. We're going to print the rods, uh, both the main threaded shaft as well as the handle rod on the Wanhao. And then what we're going to do is we're going to print the rest of these pieces on the Monoprice Mini Select. So we're going to send all three of these to the printer and we're going to see what we get back. So um, let's cut over to the workbench and let's take a look at these all printed out. Okay, so here we are back. So we've printed out the pieces. Actually, um, this was actually printed on a combination. So I printed this on the tarantula. I printed the rods on the Wanhao. And the red pieces I printed on the Monoprice Mini Select. So uh, uh, as mentioned, I upscaled these by tenfold, which is rather interesting that the designer had them so small. So at tenfold, roughly, this is about a little short, this is about 73, roughly 73, 74 um, millimeters by roughly about 30 millimeters wide and probably a little short, about 25 millimeters tall. I mean, this is really neat though, so uh, but the one problem I noticed when I went to to insert the rod, which the rod actually came out pretty good. I'm not sure if you can get it here. I'll see if I can zoom in. Um, however, this is a fine tooth um, threading on here. And however, there really aren't, aren't any threads on the inside of this, um, which is rather odd. I mean, I can run this on the inside of this. And there's no bumps. It's smooth as smooth can be. So I went to put this in, and guess what? It doesn't go in because um, there's no threads, and it's a little bit smaller. So um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to, through the magic of video, materialize a set of uh, dies and taps. So I'm not sure exactly uh, how this is going to work. Most of the taps I have our course. I've actually got a bunch more than this. So let me take a look at those. Uh, all, most of the tabs I have are, are, are uh, SAE. So let me check those. Okay, so I am going to try tapping this and see how lucky I become. Now this isn't the best way to do this boys and girls. Um, but I'm going to see if I can cheat and see if it'll work. See if I can get this to grab and because the hole is just a little bit small but this is PLA so I'm hoping that I can cheat a little bit. So 
So I took the tap and I ran it through, tapped it out a little bit larger, but uh, it does seem to work. The threads are, are pretty close to matching. So that, uh, eh, that'll work for, for this purpose. Uh, now, one of the pieces that I would think would be kind of neat is to actually to um, put like a quarter 20 through here and tap it for a quarter 20 because this is pretty resilient. I printed this at a 50% 50, 50 infill and this is pretty solid. So basically what happens is this piece is supposed to sli slip into here and this piece seems to be kind of tight so we're probably going to have to clean that piece up a little bit to make it slide easier oh because that piece is really really in there so what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and clean up the edges a little bit Okay, so we filed this up, and uh, one of the tricks I wanted to show you is I use these, uh, or one of these, um, uh, I don't know if it's rubber made, it's uh, room essentials, but one of these little tubs for if I'm going to do some filing or, um, you know, have a little bit of fine, um, you know, a little bit more than just shaving a little bit off. I use this on my workbench so it catches it, then I just dump this in. So, a little trick. You know, a little bit isn't bad. I have a little uh, shop vac that I vacuum this stuff up with. But um, that's sort of another little handy tip because it took a little bit more than I had anticipated to get it to move uh, free. But it's now uh, moving pretty free. So the idea is, is then we then take this, kind of thread this in. And this pushes in here. So I think we might have to clean that hole up a little bit to get it to, to work right. So what I'm going to do is take this kind of cleanup tool and clean up inside a little bit to give it a little bit more room going in. Yeah, that might actually work. So now we'll have to see how this piece in the bottom slides. Now in the piece there is a tapered side, so there is an up and a down. So this doesn't this doesn't seem to be too bad. However, I am going to file this. Okay, so let's see if this has got a little bit... Okay, that's got a fairly nice fit to it. Now, yeah, let's see. Now, I need to take off a little bit more. Okay, so I've got this cleaned up and I've got this inserted in there. So I'm going to use some number four screws to... Uh, about mounting this in there. Okay, so I put a screw in the top. Well, it sort of works. Well, I tell you what, let's finish up the one piece. We got to put these end caps on, so finish the coolness. I need to get some boom super glue. Damn, you gotta love video. Uh, I want to clean up the end of this a little bit with some sandpaper. So I, did, I nipped the brim off of it. A little dab of super glue. And put it on there. And I'm pushing it at the end, I nipped. I did that for a reason because I've got to slip this other end through here. And there we go. Now let's take a look at it, but first I want to clean this up. Bam! Or is it bang? I don't know, but it's all clean. So here it is. Um, it's kind of cool looking. 
definitely a very interesting desk conversation piece, if nothing else. Uh, is it highly functional? No. Uh, could it be? Yes. Um, I think the one one thing, because I'm going to make another one of these, um, but what I'm going to do in that one is I'm not going to print this plastic shaft uh, because this just simply won't hold the torque uh, of twisting on it. So it, it sort of does here, but because of the tightness of the, um, the jaw, which it should be a little bit tight to move back and forth, it just, it's not going to grip it. And since there were none in here, I threaded it and obviously the, the tap or, or the die that I used, no tap, that I used um, doesn't match this thread. So I had to go a little bit larger. So it's not perfect. So it does work as you push it through here. Will this bar hold? No. I printed this at 50% infill and if I actually twist it on it, I'm actually holding on to this and turning the, the thing because if I try to use this bar, it'll simply break. Um, but it is really cute. But back to my point is, is I would use a quarter 20 here. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, go back into t uh, Tinkercad and poke a quarter 20 hole here and into this piece too and use a longer quarter 20 bolt uh, with some threads in here and just tap it for a quarter 20 and I think it'll work fine um, and uh, I think it'd be very useful and for example uh, I have a small CNC machine I think I'm gonna adapt it up with flares too to for the smaller CNC I think would work perfect um, so again, at most, I think this is probably a nice desk conversation piece. That's where it's going to go for me. Um, and if you know anybody that's a machinist or something and kind of wants something cool as a, you know, off gift, I think this is uh, perfect. Uh, functional? Not quite. Not with this plastic rod. Um, so anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, you want me to explore a certain corner of Thingiverse for you? Let me know in the comments below. Be happy to take a look if it's not too big or complex. Happy to jump into it. And we'll see you next video. Cheers. To discover more, please be sure to subscribe as well as share with your friends. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below if there is a specific corner you would like us to explore.